Hello, I am Squid of Love. Welcome back. One of the most interesting ships available to us right now is the Drake Herald, a small armor ship designed to transfer information from point A to point B as fast and safe as possible. And what makes the Herald fascinating is the fact that it is not focusing on combat, but it is instead an info runner, the perfect option for everyone that wants to follow this activity to become an info broker in the persistent universe, the perfect option for everyone that wants to sit in the dark collecting info in order to make a profit out of this activity. The Herald is designed in such a way that will allow you to perform this activity that will allow you to be an info broker without any real problem. And the first thing we are going to notice when taking a look at the Herald are the two huge engines. In reality, the Herald right now has the biggest engines per month in the game and this is because we need all the speed we can get in order to transfer our info as safe and fast as possible to our destination. Another unique part of the Herald's design are the external data banks. These are data banks with big volume where you can store all the Intel assets, all the info that you have collected. Of course the fact that they are placed on the exterior of the Herald make them vulnerable but also give you some extra options, some extra possibilities in case you need to get rid of evidence. Having said that, we have to understand that the profession of the info broker will not always be illegal. Sometimes you might have to collect info that you shouldn't collect. And if someone comes after you, you will be able to eject these data banks in order to get rid of the evidences. But again, this might be a good way to deliver the info to your client by ejecting one of these data banks in a certain location, creating a drop point. These data banks are one more reason for you to avoid fighting in a Herald, but if you cannot avoid the combat, if you need to stay and fight, then the Herald comes with some limited weaponry that will help you defend yourself and stay alive while waiting for reinforcements for help or until you find the opportunity to escape. The Herald has three hard points, two size one on the wings that are equipped with bulldog repeaters and one size three under the nose that is equipped with a badger repeater, a size two weapon, but it can be equipped with a very strong weapon in order to deal decent damage to your enemies. It also comes with eight missiles, task force one, size one missiles, four on each side. It is definitely limited weaponry, you can deal some good damage with the size three hard point, but the roll of this weaponry is to keep you alive until you can find the opportunity to escape. Now let's move on the interior of the Herald and take a look at the heart of this ship. It has a crew requirement of two persons and I have to be honest, you will need two persons in order to use it effectively. One pilot and one operating everything else. The heart of the ship, the heart of the Herald is over here to the armor computer core. The interior, as you can see, is not crammed. You can move around very easily, even if someone is sitting on the computer and the Herald comes with all the necessary equipment to not only spend days in the verse, in the dark, collecting info, but also in order to collect this info, all this intel. At the back of the interior, there is a small crew quarters area that will allow you to stay out there for days collecting info, especially if you have accepted a mission to collect certain info. But the magic is happening over here in front of the secure control terminal that is actually the only way to access the advanced armor computer core. Your goal as an info broker, as an info runner, will not only be to collect data but also protect them and deliver them safely to your client, to your destination. And this is exactly why the Herald also comes equipped with redundant power subsystems and EMP shielding. Everything that will protect your data and everything that will give you the opportunity to get your data, to get your intel back to your client. We can very clearly see that there is nothing fancy in the interior, no fancy appearance. It has a Drake aesthetics. After all, it is a Drake ship, bare bones with wires exposed. The goal is to be a good info broker. The focus of the ship is to get the job done and not looking good. It is clear that the Herald has the potential to perform a number of different activities. Of course, the number one role 
is to collect data, to collect info and deliver them to a certain destination to a certain client or simply sell them to the highest bidder. This info can be pretty much everything, locations of where research data might be found, mining sites, rich resources, salvage locations, anything that could be sold, anything that could net you a good amount of profit. We are of course talking about a Drake ship and that means that the herald could be used for nefarious and more related activities. It could be used for data theft, it could be used to monitor a certain organization, to monitor traders trying to discover their trading route and sell this data to the right person, to the right pirate. Data interception and stream interruption are also some of the activities the herald could perform blocking information and not allowing certain info to reach certain persons. The cockpit provides good visibility from where the pilot controls the herald and of course can monitor what is going on outside. You can take a look if someone is getting close to you if you are trying to stay low. Essential for the herald's functionality are the four broadcast arrays that it comes equipped with and they can be used, can be extended from the interior in order to not only receive information, receive info for a mission you wish to fulfill, but also send information out in case of an emergency or if you want to fulfill your contract and complete your mission. These four broadcast arrays make it very easy for the herald to send and receive information and of course perform the activity, perform the profession of the info broker. We have said that the herald is really fast and this is because its role is to transfer information from point A to point B as fast as possible. Its SEM speed is only 185 but with the afterburner and the new cruise speed we can go up to 1000 meters per second which is absolutely great. It is because of this speed that the herald is one of the fastest ships in the persistent universe right now but also why people keep referring to the herald as a racing ship. To be honest, I don't really agree with this description. This is because the Herald, although it is a very fast vessel, what has in engine power and speed lacks in maneuverability. So in a conventional racing track, it will be a bit problematic and it will take a very good pilot to handle properly. If you are planning on racing in a straight line, then sure the Herald is a good option since it is more of a dragster. But if you are trying to race on a track with a lot of turns and obstacles, then I don't think you should choose the Herald. The problem with the maneuverability or with the lack of maneuverability I should say, is more apparent if you try to fight with the Herald. If you take your Herald and try to defeat some enemies, you will see that it is hard to keep with them if they are faster and more agile than you. Its weaponry, although limited, it is enough to help you destroy some weaker enemies, to help you survive a fight and escape in case of an emergency. But it is the lack of maneuverability that will make it hard for you to keep up with enemies, especially if they are more agile. And this will create some very dangerous situations and especially if you are carrying viable info and viable data you don't want to be in such a situation ever. You could of course upgrade your weapon on the size 3 hard point from the size 2 that it comes equipped with and increase your firepower, deal some more damage to your enemies and try to destroy them. And if it is only one enemy you could go on continue using the couple mode in order to always face them and deal damage, but if you are against multiple enemies then the lack of maneuverability is going to be really bad for you. And the missiles, the size 1 missiles that comes equipped are not very strong, not strong enough to deal significant damage and kill even weaker enemies with one only hit. Another problem has to do with the huge engines, although they are great for giving you very good speed, they are also very vulnerable to your enemies and it is very easy for your enemies to hit the engines and this might create more problems and might kill your speed entirely and leave you drifting dead in the water. So the biggest advantage of the Herald is its speed and this is what you should try and take advantage when in an unfavorable situation. If you are dealing with enemies that you cannot destroy, the best thing you can do is try to get out of there as fast as possible 
and escape without risking any of the intel, any of the info that you are carrying. This was the Drake Herald, a very fast ship with one only purpose, to collect viable info, viable data and sell them for profit. The Herald is an excellent option for everyone that wants to be an info broker in the persistent universe and everyone that wants to sit in the dark trying to discover the secrets of others. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse. Bye bye.